There is a perfect storm of concerns about air pollution in London in 2012. Annual levels of nitrogen dioxide, a toxic gas, are more than twice World Health Organization guideline levels and legal limits near busy streets like this one. In 2010, concentrations of nitrogen dioxide in London were the highest of any capital city in Europe and comparable with levels in Beijing before it took action before the 2008 Olympics. Air pollution matters. The Mayor of London has estimated 4,267 deaths attributable to long-term exposure to invisible air pollution in 2008. That number is comparable with the 4,075 deaths attributable to short-term exposure to visible air pollution in the great smog of 1952, when we knew nothing about the health impacts of long-term exposure to air pollution. Only smoking causes more early deaths than long-term exposure to air pollution. More than a year ago, the Olympic Delivery Authority admitted that the Olympic route network and associated transport arrangements would cause temporary and local breaches of air pollution laws. Now there are two ways traditionally to mitigate those impacts. The first is an odd and even number plate ban as in Beijing in 2008 and the other approach is the big scare tactic which plays mind games with drivers. Lord Coe wrote to Clean Air in London in 2008 setting out a bold and positive vision for air quality during the London 2012 Olympics. Frankly, he and the Olympic Delivery Authority have done everything possible within their powers to deliver on that positive vision. But so far, they've been let down by the mayor and the government who have chosen to use pollution suppressants along busy roads by monitoring stations and the big scare tactic backed by hundreds and perhaps thousands of local traffic restrictions. These are likely to infuriate Londoners and others during the Games. The Olympic organisers have made London ready for the world. But what we need now from the Mayor and the Government are proper warnings about congestion and air pollution, particularly if we have a smog episode like 2003 or 2006. London should be leading the world in tackling air pollution as it did after the great smog of 1952.